Hello friends, in this video I will show some of the features of scrumalliance.org. Uh, the idea is using these features and navigation, you should be able to find out opportunities, events which can help you in earning Scrum Educational Units under category A and category B. Let us look at the website of uh, Scrum Alliance. Now, uh, this is the website of scrumalliance.org. The exact website may change, so you do not worry about the kind of banners you see here. What we need to study or what we need to check here is that how to find category A and category B events. So, you see a search box here, you can find, you can search all the courses, you can select your country, say for example, I am searching for India. Uh, and I can click the search button and it will show me all the courses which are listed at uh, Scrum Alliance website. Now, whatever you see as an output of this particular search falls under category B. You do not have to worry about their validity because they are published here. So, you see the certified Scrum Master kind of training. You can also uh, uh, search an extended education program in on, on the same place where you will find uh, programs which are non-certifications usually cost effective than certification programs and providing you the required scrum educational units. So, incidentally you see many of our programs if you search in, in uh, for, for daily uh, extended education uh, programs. Uh, as of now, uh, we, we also publish an online program in this particular interface. For example, this particular program is an online program which you can enroll uh, and, and earn SEUs without attending a classroom uh, sessions. Now, let us look at category A events. So, this was a category B thing. Uh, another thing which you need to keep in mind is whenever you are applying for category B SEUs, always provide an, a URL which is coming from Scrum Alliance website. Because if you do not provide this particular URL and you may provide a URL which is which is uh, uh, provided by the provider to you, uh, Scrum Alliance may come, come and ask okay, was this event approved by Scrum Alliance, can you sh share more details about it, etc, etc, but if you provide a direct URL from Scrum Alliance website, many of their queries will get settled because they can go and verify who was the provider, when it, this event has occurred and category B events are verifiable because as a provider, I would be uploading your email IDs and details as an participant. So, Scrum Alliance can, can and connect these two information and see that yes, you have attended this particular extended education program. Now, let us talk about community events. Uh, so, you, you can go to an event website, uh, so event uh, section of a website and you can see various events like gathering, regional gatherings, etc, etc. And if you directly click on, on event, you can, you, you have a facility to search all the events. So, you can search again by your country, you put like India here and say you, you, uh, you may select all the Scrum Alliance events, be it gathering, regional gathering, sponsored events, user group events, coach retreat and you will see a list of events which are listed at uh, Scrum Alliance uh, website. Now, these events falls under category A. Again, my recommendation would be that whenever you are applying for these events and using them as an SCU uh, 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 units, do provide the URL of this particular event. Uh, so, Scrum Alliance can connect back and see that, okay, this event was done by uh, say Scrum Alliance authorized user group and this event was also approved for a given duration and for the given uh, SEU. So, it would be a good idea to mark yourself as an attending. So, all these Scrum Alliance user events are and, and, and uh, other events are published here. If you are attending those events better, mark yourself as I am attending. You can do it once you log in in your Scrum Alliance profile. It is a good way of, of ensuring that reviewer will not spend much time and he will come to know that yes, you attended this particular event and this event was, was performed in this particular location, etc, etc. So, these are the two ways uh, I wanted to discuss in this particular video. Uh, if you have any query, come back, come back and, and post them at our forum, forum.eisenpitch.com. You may want to see our forum. I keep talking about it since I am showing it on, on computer, 
I may give you a, a quick look at our forum as well. So we have a forum.eisenbridge.com and in our forum we have a special section called Agile and Scrum Certification Open Form and you can come here and post your queries related to SEUs uh, or, or upcoming SEUs event. Thank you.